Uh, my name is Bill Snedler. I'm uh, here to have my right eye. Uh, they're going to use a laser to remove the cataract and then install a torax lens. I chose bladeless uh, laser surgery because I have pseudo exfoliation and after watching a video on laser surgery it became obvious to me that there's less tension on the little elements that hold the uh, lens sac and it just seemed to be a better way of going about it than rather than putting a lot of tension on those uh, little pieces of uh, skin that hold that sac in place. I would highly recommend laser cataract surgery. There was absolutely no pain or discomfort to me. Uh, the procedure just went very smoothly and the, the concept of having a laser uh, make the incisions seems to be so much better than actually having it done by hand. Mr. Schindler, how are you doing today, sir? Very well, and yourself? Excellent. So, um, looks like you, the left eye turned out great for you. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the right eye. You know what to expect here, but we'll talk you through it all. Okay. So, femtosecond laser technology is pretty amazing technology. It allows us to do more than we used to be able to, at least with the lasers. There's a couple different applications that are currently available. The one we're looking at today is the Lens X laser. So we have applination, pressure on. Now we've engaged the eye, as you can see, and our treatments are overlying. We can move things around and put them exactly how we want them. And I can move the wound. As you can see, you can scroll and put the wound wherever you want. I'm going to put it right about there. And the port we'll put right about there. The capsular rexus, that's what we open the caps with. That's what sets this, the lens X laser apart from interlaces. That is going to be the opening of the capsule. So when we enter the cataract, we need to get in. That will be there. This is a small stigmatism correction. And if I was in a situation where the pupil was small, I could bring down the capsular rexus to whatever size I wanted. But we're good here. So now it's scanning the eye. It lays it out like a, unrolling a piece of paper. That looks good, everything looks perfect. So this is a scanning the, the area that we're gonna be doing the capsular rexus and then unrolling it. So this is the bottom of the lens, this is the actual lens, and then this is the anterior surface of the lens. So we're looking at the lens thickness here and making sure it's well within our treat, our treatment's well within it, and of course it is. And this is the wound. This is what allows us to uh, have a a wound without sutures. It's a stepped wound, comes down two plane. So this is literally the, the laser cuts this exact wound right here. Safety benefit is this is the thickness of the cornea, exactly where the relaxing incision is going. So instead of taking pre-measurements and hoping the blade's the right depth, uh, this is using lifetime measurements there to make its decision. So chance of perforation is less. The laser first uh, will affect the capsule. So you can see it just went around right there and, has treated the capsule, so it makes a perfect circle. It's gonna go back around, it's moving posterior to anterior, making sure it gets the entire capsule. When you see those bubbles coming through, that's, that means it's completed its treatment there. Camera's gonna go out of focus because it's gonna focus into the lens, so it's gonna be blurry for a second. And there's different patterns you can use. I like to use the cross pattern, and uh, those, those are air bubbles that are being created back there. And then there's the astigmatism correction, there's the wound, and then the um, side port incision is made, and we are done. Great job. So the laser treatment is all done. Everything went great. I just finished my second laser cataract surgery and uh, the, the vision is already improved. Of course the eyes are still dilated so there's a little bit of distortion but already I can see much better. The colors are saturated, the lights are brighter and I'm just really enthused and I'm really glad that now I've got both eyes balanced out a little bit better.